hello everyone welcome to this tutorial today we will make a basket i will use this yarn and it is a hundred percent polyacrylic yarn we will start by making a magic ring Now make 10 double crochets inside the ring. After the 10 double crochets, close the ring. So Pull the other tail of the yarn to close the ring. Now we will finish the row by making a slip stitch in the first double crochet. Well, now this is the first row. To start the second row, make two chains and we will make two double crochets in each stitch that means that in this very first stitch we will do one double crochet in the rest of the stitches make two double crochets so we are increasing in each stitch At the end of the row, make a slip stitch, slip stitch in the first stitch where we made the two chains. Well, this second row is closed. To start the third row, make two chains and again, we will make one double crochet in this first stitch. And for the rest of the stitches, we'll repeat row two. So make two double crochets in each stitch. At the end of this row make a slip stitch and you should have 40 stitches at the end we'll start the next row row 4 with two chains and this time we'll do only one single crochet per stitch so these two chains count as the first double crochet move to the next stitch and make double crochet and repeat one double crochet in each stitch slip stitch to close the row chain 2 and row 5 is going to be a repetition of row 4 so one double crochet in each stitch move to the next stitch we just made two chains right two chains that stand as a double crochet move to the next stitch make a double crochet and repeat double crochets in all the stitches That is it for row 5. 
two steps. Row six is going to be a row of increases. So after the first two chains, make a double crochet in the very first stitch. And then make two double crochets in the rest of the stitches. So next stitch, two double crochets in the same stitch until the end of the row. Make a slip stitch in the first stitch of the row to finish. Now row 7 will be a row of double crochets. So 2 chains for the first stitch, then for the rest of the stitches make 1 double crochet in each stitch. And this is going to also be the pattern for row 8, 1 double crochet in each stitch. Row 8 is the last one for the basis of the basket. So now I will cut the yarn and end it here. So after cutting, after cutting the yarn, pull it out and now we will use a yarn. We will use a yarn needle to create a kind of seamless end. So insert the yarn through your needle, turn the work like this so that you work from the back. Yeah. So you insert your needle in the first stitch of the row which was the two chain yeah the second chain that we made at the beginning so pull the yarn through that chain and pull and then make it through the last stitch again so it creates a kind of a new stitch there but we will not work inside it for the rest of the work. So what I will do is I will mark my two chain that we are at the beginning of the row and the last stitch of the row to remind myself that I shouldn't work in this kind of virtual stitch. So now you can hide the tail of the yarn. We are going to start the body of the basket. I will reattach my yarn from anywhere, maybe from here, which was the last stitch of the previous row. Reattach the yarn and we will make back loop single crochets. So in this first stitch make a back loop single crochet and repeat that in all the stitches so back loop only single crochet So this is my last stitch, I will make a back loop and we will work for the rest of the rows in spiral. Yeah. So this is going to be the start of the new row. For this new row we will make double crochets. So yarn over and make a double crochet until you get To the end. Once you reach the first stitch of the row, just continue again with another row of double crochet.
this is the end of the second row of the body for the next row we'll do one double crochet and then chain one skip the next stitch go to the following make one double crochet so we'll make some holes inside again chain one skip in the following make a double crochet so this is the pattern for this row at the end continue now with only double crochets in every stitch one double crochet on top of the double crochet one double crochet in this piece After the fifth row, the sixth row is going to be also a row of double crochet. Then after this sixth row, row seven will be double crochets with spaces. So this means that for the rest of the tutorial, you have to repeat row two, three, four every time. Yeah. So two rows of double crochets the third row will be double crochets with spaces so repeat that until you get your desired height for the basket i have my last stitch here so i will cut the yarn this is my last row and then make a slip stitch and that is it for the body now we will make the handles for the handles make a chain of 40 centimeters after the chains make two rows of single crochet it is time to fix to sew the handles on the basket what i'll do is i'll try to locate the middle yeah i'll also count the stitches on the sides to make sure that it is um well placed in the middle and then i will sew the handle on these um two rows of double crochets it is almost finished last thing that we have to do is a cord i will just make a chain that we pass through the spaces so it can create a kind of closure for the bag so make a chain that will have the width yeah from one side to the other side the width uh, three times the width of your bag now that my chain is ready i'll pass it under this row the row of spaces so i will go with two stitches under it and then the next two i will pass on top then under two then on top of two under two and so on until i go all around and come back
and there you have it the bag is finished the bag or the basket is finished i hope you enjoyed the tutorial let me know in the comments what you think about it like and subscribe to see my next videos see you